The main goals and objective of the physics department is to advance the knowledge of physics and at the same time train the main power needed for the Singapore economies. In order to achieve this goal, we set up a wide variety of research areas of focus. This includes physics at the nano size, advanced functional materials, quantum information technology, biophysics, so on and so forth. At the moment, the Department of Physics has about 60 faculty members. Besides the professors who are from Locus, we also have professors from the America, Europe, Asia and Asia Pacific. The reason why all these scientists come here to work is because Singapore is actually a very vibrant and exciting research environment whereby you can actually conduct research experiments and bounce your idea off from different scientists. We have several advanced laboratories with state-of-the-art equipment. This includes Center for Ion Beam Applications, Center for Quantum Technologies and Graphene Research Centers. But our physics studies uh, fundamental laws that govern molecular inter interactions and the pattern formation in, in life. It is important uh, because it provides the mechanistic understanding of these interactions. In our department, we have five uh, biophysics research groups. So we work in different fields, uh, including molecular machines, uh, DNA packaging, gene transcription, DNA polymer physics confined in nanochannels, uh, and development of novel technologies. NUS is an ideal place for conducting biophysics research because it emphasizes interaction between biophysicists and the biologists. It also provides a state-of-art infrastructure for conducting biophysics research. The Graphene Center at NUS is an interdisciplinary research effort where about 20 professors and 100 PhD students and postdocs work towards understanding the basic properties of graphene and other 2D materials. We look at uh, fundamental science but also at applications of these materials. What is special about the center is that its facilities were designed and built for the sole purpose of investigating these new 2D materials. We are able to make wafer scale graphene, 8 inch wafers, uh, synthesis of graphene solutions. Uh, and also the direct uh, translation of these materials to devices via uh, state-of-the-art cleanroom facilities which are dedicated to graphene research. So this can only be done here at NUS. The Center for Quantum Technologies is a research institution that combines experimental physicists, theoretical physicists and computer scientists. We want to find out to what extent quantum physics can be used to process information more efficiently or faster or more securely. Exploring quantum physics is not only an ivory tower activity, but it has real world applications and it's actually a lot of fun. You work with real atoms, you work with real light, and try to figure out can you do actually something useful with that. Uh, phononics is a, a new uh, subject uh, mainly studying uh, how phonons transport in nanostructure and microstructures and how heat transfer. Uh, thermal transistor is like an electronic transistor. It's a fundamental and elementary device for all phononic devices. So with the thermal transistor, you can build on thermal uh, logic gate and thermal memory and any other uh, phononic devices to control heat flow. The Organic Nano Device Laboratory conducts innovative research into the science and technology of organic semiconductors. We like to think of ourselves as an ideas factory to create new device concepts that are of higher performance for a sustainable future. Research here is unique because it brings together integrated research teams of physicists and chemists in a single lab to tackle the critical challenges in organic semiconductors. Our collaborators find that the materials and the unique capabilities in device spectroscopies which we have developed are attractive for their own research. The Centre for Ion Beam Applications is based around an accelerator, 3.5 million volt machine. We are using this for lithography, microscopy and ion beam analysis. We have, over a long and arduous process, developed the focusing down of an ion beam to very small sizes. 
Proton beam writing is a technology where we use a finely focused proton beam to make three-dimensional nano-sized structures on size levels of 20 nanometers or around there. Such technology is not available anywhere else on the planet. As for the future, we aspire to be a place whereby students and researchers like to come because of our teaching and cutting-edge research.